The Story of Prince Thutmose and the Sphinx. Prince Thutmose was the favorite son of Pharaoh Amenhotep, grandson of Thutmose III, descendant of the first Pharaoh Hatshepsut. Due to being loved by his father more than his other brothers, in addition to being chosen by his father to be the next pharaoh, Thutmose was unintentionally hated by his brothers. They believed that Thutmose's succession was unworthy. They scandalized Thutmose as an extravagant, cruel, blasphemous man who also attempted to assassinate the young prince many times. This made the prince's life very difficult. Thutmose liked to spend his time on exciting adventures exploring Upper Egypt, crossing the burning sand desert to seven wonderful oases instead of staying in Thebes or Memphis, living cramped in the pharaoh's palace. Even though his father reminded him, this lifestyle will cause him to lose his advantage in the royal battle for the throne of pharaoh. However, Thutmose was an admirable prince. He is a talented archer, can drive a chariot all the way and owns a horse that can run faster than the wind. Sometimes he led herds of antelope across the hot desert sand, searching for ferocious wild animals near the banks of the Nile River. One day, the priests stopped at Memphis before going to Heliopolis to attend a great ceremony honoring the god Ra. On that occasion, Thutmose and two servants sneaked out of the bustling crowd and drove up the steep road to the pyramid at Saqqara. When it started to get too hot, they had only gone not far from the Great Giza Pyramid, built by the Fourth Dynasty pharaohs 120 years earlier. They stopped under the cool green palm trees to rest, but Thutmose wanted to walk around and pray to the great god Harmachis. He asked the servant to wait for him here, then drove away. He walked forever, finally stopping at three pyramids Khufu, Khafra and Menkora whose tops touched the sky. The sunlight shines down, making the rows of bricks shine brightly, like a golden bridge leading to Ra's boat. All his attention was devoted to a giant statue, located away from the other pyramids and near the pyramid of Pharaoh Khafra. It is a statue of the great god Harmachis, with the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh. While praying, suddenly the surrounding rocks began to move, then a strange large rock fell out. And the stone sphinx roared. Look at me, Thutmose, prince of Egypt. I am Harmachis, your father, the father of the pharaohs in Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. Will Egypt be yours or not? Will you wear the crown of peace chent or not? Will you sit on the throne and millions kneel at your feet with all respect? If you become pharaoh, two parts of Egypt will belong to you. Besides, you will have unparalleled strength and endless years of life. Thutmose, my face is turned towards you, my heart is inclined towards you to give good things. But look, my child, the sand has held me tight here, oppressing me, suffocating me, holding me down and hiding me from your searching eyes. Promise me that you will do your duty as a good son. Come closer and get me out of here. In return, I will help you get everything. He approached the Sphinx. And as if by magic, Thutmose felt many things. He knelt down and swore to the gods, O oh, Harmachis, my father. I respectfully ask the great Egyptian gods to be witnesses to this oath. If I become Pharaoh, the first thing I will do is free Harmachis from the hot sand, build a temple to worship and inside there are sacred stones. That I see now. Then Thutmose returned with the servant to Memphis. Trying many times, Thutmose became Pharaoh, one of the great kings. And he fulfilled his old vow. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. 
We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.